Before the video starts, I just want to say that this video is a remake of another one that actually had some tech problems, that's why you couldn't upload. That's actually why there's a gap from this video and the original release of the S21. Also join the Scassam in Discord with the link in the description down below, which is live 24-7. Without any further ado, let's get back into the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scassaming here and welcome to a new video. Today we are unboxing and reviewing the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. So, first I just want to go through the colours and the variants. The, this comes in Phantom Black and Phantom Silver if you're getting it from any carrier service. Un but if it's, unlock if it's an unlocked phone and you're not getting it from um, any other carrier service and you're getting it from Samsung.com themselves, you get Phantom Titanium, Phantom Navy and Phantom Brown. So, first... I guess we'll unbox the phone and unbox this. This is the protection 360 pack. It's a three piece protection kit. We will un we'll unbox that in a second and we'll unbox this first. So of course the phone itself is brand new, straight out of the box. Do you have any details in case you wanna see about it? Well, when it is packaged and all that. So let's just open it on the go. So you, nothing bees in there, but of course you be received with the phone right here. It has a really, really shiny screen, as you can probably see that. The cutout is right to the end, if you can see that. And the eyepiece cutout is really clear. And of course, let's just unbox, um, take off these. I'll just let you guys hear, ASMR. And, and this one too. So I'm just gonna put these to the side. Uh, so if you guys don't know about this phone, there's something, there's a special feature about it, secret feature, you might not know. So everything looks normal. You'll notice that number one, the phone is metal. However, the past phones, the phone has been, well, glass and, you might think glass is probably better, it looks more premium, but actually this has a special feature that it, number one is very more durable to cracking. Number two, there's no fingerprints. Look, as much fingerprints, no matter how oily your hands probably are, or natural oils, you won't get anything on there. And number three, scratches. Big scratches, of course, like if you get a knife or something, or like something like that, like something sharp, of course it will probably leave, in, leave a dent in there for quite a while. But if you're just using like a normal fingertip or something like this, I don't know if you guys can see that, can you see that right there? But if you rub it, it's gone just in seconds. Now I'll just do that again. Uh, you guys can see all of that, all of those scratches. Just rub it. And it's, it's all gone. Just like that. Now that's a pretty clever feature about this about the phone which I think is pretty pretty awesome. So I'll just put this in there and take this out. And so what you're showing with is just paperwork paperwork which is your warranty card, Samsung and a USB C to USB C cable which is something which you probably would be excited to see. It's a pretty lengthy one, if you had to show you. From this side to this side, it's pretty long. Probably like, probably like two meters long, if I were to say so. So now guys, let's move on to this. This is what, what you, is possible to buy with the phone. It's a perfect fit case. And it also comes with screen protectors, which are two. So I'll just uh, take these out and show them what I mean by perfect fit. So let me just do this experience right here. ASMR. Uh, that was pretty good. And this case, this is what I mean by perfect fit. Uh, so let me put this perfectly. In. So this is what I mean by perfect fit now. <laughs> so as you can see, it just, it's, it's 
clean up it's like a flush with the thing it's absolutely bang on there yeah you guys can probably see that absolutely flat with the thing and I think that's a pretty cool thing of course this if you do get it this will be getting like look at how much fingerprints I've already got on this fella by holding it from not even the one minute but of course saving your thing and of course it's thicker from the sides like any good screen protector um, any good phone case would do so I guess I'll take that off so so now let me show you screen protector kit so this comes with it says in this package cleaning cloth dust removal sticker and alcohol wipe so this is the cleaning cloth I'm guessing it says the branding on it it's pretty good it's probably glasses cloth um, quality which is a good thing since like glasses cloths need pretty good um, wipers so this is the stickers for dust removal which I think is pretty good you can tell that it's good quality you can tell that it's, it'll stay on for a while it's sticky and alcohol wipes as they said this is good so this is like one of those wipes that they give you at like um, restaurants and stuff there's little alcohol wipes or they in, uh, give you in your takeaway yeah, so behind here we have got this infinity guard with a super tough ultra screen guard or screen protector in this package infinity guard squeegee cleaning cloth dust removal sticker and alcohol wipe so oh it's got it's got markers so you can see exactly where to go and all of that which is pretty small normally you don't get this and um stuff like that but looks like you do on this it even comes with two as i said on the so guys we're back and we're just coming back to the specs now so talking about this phone the, di the dimensions of this phone diagonal the screen size is 6.8 inches now recently they have been making the phones very big i think it's one um one uh, uh centimeter smaller than um the note 21 no note 20 um ultra but of course that would that's very unnoticeable if you put them next to each other it's basically the same thing so really that's that shouldn't be one of the things you're really going after but other than like if you look at the s10 plus i think that's six point six point five inches so this is really big like compared to that or something like the s9 plus for example that's like quite a lot smaller i think that's six inches 6.3 so yeah that's relatively they're relatively big or compared to apple any of apple phones is really big and the this way um it's it's uh, 75.6 inches and the length is 165.1 millimeters and the width is 6.9 inches and the display on this is six is a quad hd dynamic display which is i'm amoled 22x infinity over display which is 144p um, which is really good i think I mean, generally phones these days, they're coming up to the range where you're getting to 2K, 144p. But if you think about it, Apple, for example, if you look on their spectrum, they're still at what uh, 1080p, which is kind of kind of a thing that it should be getting up around right now. So I guess it's still up there, still at leaders of the board. And 515 PPI, HDR10 certified, uh, HDR10 plus certified which is good of course you'll get cleaner crisper experience with this phone which is um, of course always better 120 hertz refresh rate I will uh, explain and show at the end how this works but of course um, that means that it will be double the smoothness of a regular phone a regular phone these days of uploading this video of when this phone is released um, it, 
it gets to 60 hertz. So if you think about it, double like how smooth is a regular phone? This is double the speed, which is re something really good. Like, look at how smooth this is. After the uh, after I show you, this is double the speed. So, so pretty, it's a pretty smooth phone to be playing around with if you think about it. And this supports the S Pen. This it comes with the branding, the name, the uh, the first S, the first S branded phone that supports the S Pen. Because normally only Note phones support it, but this is the first phone that supports S Pen. Of course, it does not have any sort of um, S pocket or anything that, um, of course, normally a Note phone would um, come with, but still, pretty cool that you get this sort of stuff. And of course, you get all the commands and everything that come with that. That's, that's alright. And the front camera coming to this right there, which you can probably not even see that screen's not even focusing on because it's such a small little uh, pic what's it called infinity old uh, camera right there camera. comes with a 40 megapixel camera which is means, means that it will be very clear probably like it's four times the amount of the regular s20 s21 four times so that's like really like big thing to be speaking about and this is um pdaf the pixel size of this this is 0.7 micrometers, 0.7 micro micrometers, and it's 10 megapixels, which is 1.4 micrometers, and the FOV is 80, so you can get, a, it's just below 90 degrees, but not, at the moment really, not no big uh, companies are really getting around there, and so you can get still a good selfie go, uh, camera going there. Which is really like all people really need at the moment for that. And the rear camera, right? If we flip our phone around, um, this uh, this camera right here, this is your main camera. The, uh, this is your ultra wide camera. So uh, how is it gonna go? This gets super speed dual pixel AF. Pixel size is 1.4 megapixels. If you just wanna have a closer look at that. That's 1.4 megapixels. Um, the FOV is 120, so you can get a big picture going, like a full field of view. And the F point uh, NO number, the aperture is uh, F2.2. And this camera now is a wide angle camera. This is FDAF or OIS. Pixel size is 0 0.8 micrometers. Or 12 megapixels, which is 2.4 micrometers. The FOV is 83 degrees. This is an ultra wide, so of course the FOV will be shorter than an uh, ultra wide, but this is still wide angle, so it will still be bigger than the telephoto one we'll come, we'll come to in a second. And the F, F, the aperture is f1.8. If it, yeah, and then the image sensor size is 1.33. Now the telephoto camera, this fella right here, this is what's shooting up your sh close macro shots. So this is what is coming up close when you when you're trying to get the close up shots. This is what's like right now. My uh, my camera is doing telephoto zooming right now. So that's how it's going. So uh, this is dual pixel AF. The pixel size is one point twenty two megapixel uh, micrometers. The FOV is 10 degrees, of course, it's a small camera, you would be focusing on small details, so it has a small um, degrees of it, field of view. And the aperture is f4.9. Space zoom, which is this, right here, if, if the camera focuses, you could probably see that. This is the space zoom right here. This is dual optical zoom three times and ten times. Super resolution zooms up to 100 times. So you can zoom like those super far pictures. Like, by the way, you're like on a normal building, you could get like to the moon. It's still pretty crisp, clear condition compared to like a, a um, iPhone 12 or something. It'll come up pretty clear. And the OS optical stabilization is of course loads at AF. And 
intelligent features that come with this phone are screen uh, scene optimizer, shot suggestions, and scan QR codes. Those are coming in the, or have come, depending on when you watched it, in the Android 11 or One UI 3.0. And today, as soon as you get this phone, it's already on there. So when you guys get your phone or one of, or one of these, you've got this, you've got this already. And of course, all of these camera modes as well, along with that. Just single take photo, video, pro, paranormal, uh, food, night, portrait, portrait, video, pro, video, super slow mo, slow motion, high flaps, and director's view. The the recording which you could get in this video on the S10. If you look at that, that's that was um, just like uh, four years back, two years back, or something along those lines. Um, that could uh, the maximum that could record up to is. 200 uh 2160 that's 4k which is already pretty like ahead in our time and this times that by two like imagine how much pixels you could fit in that times it by two so the, double the crispness double the clearness which is 8k and recording at 20 but that's recording at 24 fps so of course if you're moving it'll be like slightly glitchy and all of that but if you want to record at 60 fps you can still go back to the 4K, of course. In shooting methods, it comes with super steady mode, which are, it's just getting released recently. So super steady mode, of course, you can do all of those uh, good stuff. Um, making it so when you're recording your video, you get that super steady motion and not much um, is going on. Not much is really going um, right, left and all of that. You get super steady slow-mo and of course all of the others, as we said before. You get HDR 10 plus recording. And the performance, you uh, this battery, right? So I just want to say the S twenty one, um, S the the original S twenty one five G. That's getting four thousand mega amps, mega amps per hour. And this S twenty one Ultra, it's getting five thousand. That, that so that's a whole thousand extra. And I'm like, geez, this can last up to like possibly like I think twenty hours or something along those lines you can do like max I think so that's like more than a day way more than a day and this of course is fast uh, fast wireless charging 2.0 and a wireless power share which is if you don't know you can convert power from your phone to another phone which is of course of course really good it supports 5g which is something new still going around still like still broadening across the country and all of that so this already supports it. If you live in that region, of course, you'll get it. You, you might surely you don't support it. That's only because in your region, they don't get it. But of course, it supports all the past ones, LTE and 4G and all behind. And the memory that this, can, that this has, 16 GB RAM. You can do some good gaming on this. Probably better than most PCs out there. Better than the PlayStation. You can, you can, some typical PCs might have eight, this is a double, this is 16, so. Even some t uh, typical PCs get like, you get uh, pretty expensive ones with 16 GB. So you come with 16 GB RAM, you got uh, 12 GB RAM with internal storage. Uh, 16 GB RAM comes with 512 internal storage. 12 GB RAM is 256 storage and 12 GB RAM as well with 128 uh, gigabyte storage. Uh, it's likely that you're probably going to get the 128 or the 256 then that's just 12 GB RAM but that's still more than 8 of course that's like half of it added on and the single sim model is if, if you get a single sim model that's uh, of course just one nano sim the newer versions of the sim and if you do dual sim mode you could do a one one nano sim one e sim two nano sims and one sim or two nano sim so of course a bit of a variant but what you can't do is actually do micro SD on this phone, which is kind of a down and put. Uh, after all the great stuff they did, fail to remember that people are still using the micro SD is what you're doing, like. But of course they just didn't. Not much we could really do. But everything else on the phone is still pretty good. And as I said before, it supports Android 11, which um, is of course really good. Zoom in mic, BT mic. Pro video mo mode, and of course, uh, the version set supports is all of that like ver uh, video formats that you get today, like MP4, uh, of course, like WEBM, and like, of course, all of the different variants that you can just like possibly 
use. Of course, there's some version like PDSD, that's like a Photoshop version, or the After Effects, the Premiere Pro, those you have to use software on your PC, but other than that, this supports pretty much all of the ones that you can really uh, think to be doing. It was, it's wirelessly supports, supports Smart View, which you can't do unless you're on Android 11, and uh, pretty much you can't do unless you're on like one of the newer phones. So unless you're on Android 11, which currently is the S10 Plus and above, you might as well just get this one then. Um, you get wirelessly smart view, others then you have to plug your phone into your laptop, your PC or your TV. Um, yeah. And water resistance is IP68, so you can probably drop this phone in the water for around about 30 minutes, 30 ho half an hour before you pick it up again and it'll still be wa working. But of course, not suggested. People also put their phones in rice when they go near the water. That is not suggested because that gets all in the ports, all in the speakers. I just want to say again, do not do that. That's something that we don't want. And people do it and it's just something that you shouldn't be doing really. But of course, put it in a bag, of course, because then you, of course, you get like more than 30 minutes to save your phone if it falls in. 30 minutes, which is any more, uh, anyway, just like way too much. And of course, the buttons and everything. We've got no buttons on this side which uh, people did find a bit odd. Of course, the more you use it, the more you get used to just like volume button, off button. It's all on one side, as you can probably see right there. Uh, you might also notice that Power uh, and Bixby, you, there's one of them missing. It's actually that they're both actually integrated into the same button. So if you, if you press this button, it will uh, turn your phone off. If you hold it, it'll uh, open Bixby. Of course, these volume buttons are the same. And if you press the off button and the down button, it'll switch your phone off, which you can change later on anyway. Into um, So holding it, switches the phone off. And then I guess you'll just lose Bixby. But coming in another video, I'll show you how to replace Bixby with Google Assistant. But you'll have to uh, stay tuned for that video. And it, it actually, um, comes with McAfee in the phone, which is pretty cool. Um, which isn't, com which of course it you wouldn't get an uh, iPhone at all. It comes with Bixby routines, which is something new actually, something new. Bixby routines plus, you could do lots of stuff with that. And of course, it, uh, video wallpaper can be up to 15 seconds and always on display. You get you get to choose the clocks and everything, a variety of stuff, widget themes, everything. Of course, this supports like most of the wearables around at the moment. You get, um, you suppose all of the like earbuds by their own company, all of the watches, and like pretty much all of the other companies really as well. All the, all of the other watches since it's Android as well. Android is really expanding the limits to all of the stuff. So really, you get buy one and you really get like access to it. Of course, any smart watches that aren't professional that don't run Google OS or Android OS. You, you aren't expected to run by it, of course it wouldn't work on uh, iOS either, it wouldn't work on any other phone, so you, of course it would need certain apps, this, that, otherwise then it, it works with pretty much all of the stuff that run Android OS, Apple, and stuff like that. Also I just want to quickly say that um, you, uh, you, if you've gotten this far, pop an emoji down below and I want you to do Apple. If you if you uh, came this far, do your Apple, um, pop out Apple in the comment section down below so I know that you came this far into the video. So. So guys, let's power the phone on. Oh, you can see the three logo coming on. You can also see the lines in the camera. Of course, that isn't what you're seeing in real life. That's only because it's, the phone's really slow at catching the pixels coming on. But so this is what you you'll be presented with. Of course, you'll have to do um, you'll have to set your phone up and all that. But you, you sort of get uh, what you're meant to do. I've been through those sort of processes a couple of times in the past. But this is the font that you get the new phone font. Android 11, look. Swipe to unlock, so I'm just gonna. And you'll see phone is starting. So, of course, the apps and everything will just be there. So, 
so you can probably see how close those pixels are and what just happened there was that uh, blue light filter actually came on or as you might want as, in, as this actually renamed to eye comfort shield so you can just turn that back off on and off different times and another thing that's really important it supports google discover that is something people have been wanting for ages i'm still waiting for it to come to all of the other phones still waiting but what do you know it's already here and i can see it since it's already here you can see it come to future phones let's hope it comes to all the phones as well um so you um, Google Discover is actually better in like multiple ways, multiple, multiple ways in which you can, um, you, it sort of tracks what you like and what you search up and what you watch on YouTube and it gives you updates on that which is, well, you wouldn't want that, better than uh, Samsung, um, Samsung Free or Samsung um, Discover or whatever they had in the past, better than all of those. So. So let's just um, like look at these icons and just see how smooth that is. Do you see that? How smooth is that? Let me just compare with the iPhone 12. Do you see how smooth that Samsung is? It's actually double the speed now. If in the camera it might not be coming up because you're actually watching likely that you're watching 60 fps you can only see how smooth it is if you're actually watching it in 120 fps now let me just quickly uh, turn down this and then um, you'll probably if you're watching you might be able to see the difference so you can you just need to search you just need to search up um, refresh there we go, so you'll just see motion smoothness, you, know, you can change it to standard. So that, if uh, if you're watching on a uh, 60 FPS or on a 60 FPS device, you, you, you're likely that you won't be able to see the difference. So, if I change it back. There we go. Honestly, that's it. Just makes me so happy whenever I see that. It just looks so much more smoother. And I guess um, that's pretty much um, what I wanted to come across in this video. What I wanted to say, of course, um, 8K video shooting and everything like that. It comes in that all the features. So I guess if you came this far, then I might as well say that thanks for watching. Guys, also please like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!